This is episode 39 of the Element Collection series. And this one you're looking at here is Yttrium. It's a pretty shiny metal on these top and bottom sides. You can see here, but this side and this side look a little bit um, rusted and dusted. And that rhymed. <laughs> and it was also discovered at the Swedish mine of Viterbi. And um, four elements were named after it and were discovered there at the same time, those being Yttrium, Yterbium, Terbium, and Erbium. Wait, that rhymed too. Yeah, um, this one was one of them. Uh, zero points for creativity, though. Um, uh, I think they were running out of names and they just decided, um, you know what? Let's just um, name them all after the same place, just different letter combinations, and then um, we'll say all done. And that's exactly what they did, which is kind of stupid. And it kind of has a yellowish tint. And Ytterbium kind of does as well. And that's because like the oxide layer formed on it um, turns it this yellowish golden color. I think the same thing for this one. And that's not the only rare earth metal I have. And um, Yttri Yttrium is a rare earth metal. And rare earth metals are these metals that are basically hard to extract from their ores and stuff. And some of them are rare. Like, um, here's every single one of them I have. That's one of them. I also got Praseodymium, Thulium, Waphidum, Dysprosium, and Samarium. Some of them are under oil because they're quite reactive with air. And they tend to form this dust very quickly. But the oxide layer on the um, yttrium metal is, I think, invisible to the naked eye. Same thing for aluminum. This is why um, when you drop aluminum in water, it doesn't react. But if there's no oxide layer, it does react. So yttrium can exist in some forms like a yttrium aluminum garnet. That's one of the forms it can exist in. It's a kind of garnet and it's also called a yag. So there's yttrium. 